Hi, my name is Manny Laureano, and I'm the principal trumpet of the Minnesota Orchestra. This is my sometimes colleague, Takako Semya Sen, who plays um, extra and substitute with us. And I asked her to assist me on this particular little project because it really has occurred to me that intonation is something that is just not talked about on a real hands-on way um, when it comes to young students. This video is really meant for students of the trumpet, especially the younger ones, their middle school and, and high school, and also for uh, people in, in amateur orchestras and, and bands. Because intonation is something that everybody talks about but nobody does anything about. So one day I was talking about this with a student of mine and I said, well, let's go on the internet. Let's look at some demonstrations of uh, something called equal temperament versus just intonation. That has to do with the way that you adjust notes when two people play together. And I looked and I looked and I looked and could not find anything that was an actual demonstration. I found a lot of videos that were very academic talks and demonstrations of this ratio and that ratio and these numbers and all that. But the one thing that I was looking for, which was listening to trumpets play in tune or out of tune to in tune so that I couldn't really demonstrate to the student because I wanted him to be able to hear it uh, from without rather than uh, within, which, which means the two of us playing uh, notes together. I wanted him to be able to hear two other trumpet players playing together. And there was nothing that I could find. Maybe there is. And if there is, well, terrific. This is just going to be our, our own thing to it. The very first time that I was really conscious of what a proper unison should sound like was back in New York City when I was with the All City High School Orchestra. And we were playing a piece by Zoltan Kodai called the Haryano um, Suite. And there was this one trumpet lick that involved everybody landing on an F, a concert F. And when the four of us played this F together, it was so perfectly in tune that I almost didn't dare even move because I didn't want to spoil whatever it was. And I had never experienced that before with a, a group of trumpets. Many of us, when we're in middle school, junior high school, and the teacher says, okay, we're going to tune. At first blush, we have absolutely no idea what that means. All we know is that the teacher's going down the line, and he says, sharp, you're flat, whatever. And you really have no idea what, oh, okay, so if I'm sharp, I pull out. How far do you pull out? It takes a long time for a student to understand that what they're trying to do is match a pitch. And what most of the time they wind up getting used to is the teacher going down, up, down, up, stay there, just a little bit. And you're mm -hmm. just kind of obeying instructions instead of really using your ears. So that's what the point of this video is all about, is for us to play horribly out of tune mm -hmm. <laughs> and then adjust so that you can hear the difference, so that you don't get used to the idea of what things should not sound like, but rather to give you something to go for. So let's let's do a, a typical thing. Uh, Takako, why don't you go ahead and play yeah. a middle C? We're playing um, B flat trumpet. So all of you people with perfect pitch, you're just going to have to deal with it. Okay? This is uh, uh, I, when I ask her to play at C, it's going to be a sounding B flat, so on and so forth. So if you would play a middle C. Okay. That's usually what you hear. You hear this horrible sound with a whole lot of beats, but if you don't get corrected immediately by the, by the instructor, you start to accept that as just, that's the way it is. 
I'm going to hammer this home just a little bit more. I played a little bit sharp, uh, a little bit flat. Now I'm going to play a little bit sharp. Okay. 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 This is why music teachers go out of their minds after a while, because how long can you stand to listen to that? So we have to teach our students to play in tune. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, let's play our notes separately. Why don't you go ahead and play your, your, your C. Now, if your ears are very sensitive, you say, oh, well, that was sharp, what Manny just did. And you'd be absolutely right. The poor music student hasn't learned yet to make those very subtle things, especially when you go one after the other. It's close enough so that oftentimes they don't hear the difference. So now we're going to play that note together. And then, since we know that I'm playing it sharp, I'm going to bring my pitch down very slowly until we are in tune. So what you probably noticed were a whole lot of little oscillations. We call those beats, okay? Like that. As I started to bring the pitch down, those beats got slower and slower and slower until they completely disappeared and it sounded pretty much like just one trumpet. That's what bringing a note down to pitch is all about. When you have a sharp note and you bring it down, that's what should happen. Let's do that one more okay. time. So when you are playing with somebody in school or in your amateur band, whatever it is, that's what you should try and do. Now, you have to recognize that you're sharp, <laughs> okay? So, um, that's, that's kind of a trick all in and of itself, is, mm -hmm. is knowing that you are out of tune. Otherwise, what you have is this go on. And so now Takako and I will, will kind of go back like this against each other, right? Two people are trying their best <laughs> to, 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 to play in tune, but you've just got to kind of decide. You just sort of have to decide, okay, you will go with, with your pitch. So that's how you kind of make that determination. Um, another good thing to do is just get yourself, um, you can buy a small pitch fork. Those things are great because you can just hold it against your ear. You can get it in pitches of A, B, five. you can get them in almost any pitch and just start to listen with the pitchfork here against um, just the side of your skull here and let it go and then play against it and see how, see where you are, see how quickly you can, you can get in tune because of course the pitchfork will fade fairly quickly. So you have to learn to, to get to tune quickly. So now that's what um, maybe a, a middle schooler or a high schooler or, or, or an amateur player, that's how long it might take. Now with two professional players, this is how quickly that adjustment happens. If you would play the scene. So you heard this one initial rub and then I went, oh my God. And so if I'm sharp, I'm going to pull out here. You can also do it with your lip. Why is it important to be able to, to, to tune with your lip? Because if you're in the middle of a concert, you're in the middle of a performance, and you find a note that's out of tune, you're not going to go, oh, excuse me, audience, while I push in or pull out my slide. You're not going to do that. So you've got to get pretty good at making these adjustments quickly. So now, Takako-san, if you would just play any note you want, okay. 
okay. and my job is to find it, tune to it as quickly as I can, any note you want. This is right away, and that's what a professional needs to be able to do. That's what your school student and your amateur players need to be able to, to use as their, uh, their aim. That's what they want to try and be able to learn to do. So we're going to play uh, an F major okay. scale. We're going to play it um, in unison. So, so we'll be playing the same notes, and I just want you to listen to the pitch. Listen to what it sounds like when two people play a scale together in tune. Some notes were in tune right away, and some notes were adjusted very quickly. That's what you have to be able to do. Um, so now we've got the idea of the unison together. Now the other part that is kind of like a unison, but isn't, and that is an octave. So um, let's see. Takako, why don't you play? Let's see, what scale shall we use? Let's let's use um, B flat major, okay. and you play the um, the no you play the the lower okay. B flat, and I'll and I'll be tuning to you. Okay. So you play one octave, and I will start the octave higher, okay. and we will play this in tune. here with octaves. Let's do it again. <laughs> no, don't adjust. <laughs> She's such a good musician, she starts to adjust. Because I'm going to be taking the part of the student. <laughs> enough I can't even stand it all right but you get the idea and if and if that's you know too much for you then just go back and forth between the in tune and what we just did just using your uh, re re uh, rewind button and uh, yeah. so uh, here's what I suggest um, find a, a friend at school to somebody who's a good player find a really good player and play a, a bunch of notes together. First play unisons, and then play octaves. And the game is, how quickly can you adjust? Why don't you play a uh, middle C, I'll play the high C. Okay. So you heard just an initial buzz like that, now, now that I know what to do, let's try it again. Okay, pretty much in tune, and that's what the game is. You don't have to, I, I would suggest you not start with the very high octaves, but start with the, the lower ones and, and learn to really peg those octaves so that they sound good. Surprise your teacher. In fact, make a project out of it. Get together with your friend. Learn to play a scale in octave. Find an, any easy scale to play in octaves. And say, Mr. Such and Such, Mrs. Such and Such, listen to this. We, we, we learn how to play this, this in tune. They will be so delighted, I can't even tell you. Okay, so make that a, a, a project for yourself. Okay? Um, so this is part one, octaves and unisons.
And then the next uh, tapes will be a little bit shorter because there won't be so much explanation. I'll just tell people to refer to the first part of, of this, um, this little video. So I hope that this um, makes your life as a musician, as a young musician, more pleasant. And um, I hope that it uh, makes your teacher's life a little easier. All right. Take care. Until next time. Bye-bye.